shoot and knock it down, fair away. Shoot it, shoot and knock it down, fair away. It's all about the bus, bus, bus. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Angel. Back with another back with another video. Today we did a makeup tutorial. Today's video is gonna be using all new products that I got. If y'all seen the haul video that I posted, then I'm using half of the products that was in that video. I wanted to test them out. I liked pretty much everything that I tried out. You know, I'm using a lot of these new palettes and everything, and I really enjoyed this eye look. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna let you guys get right into the video. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys, so the first thing we're gonna start off with today is this little rock three in one illuminating primer. My first impression of this, the scent of it smells like a skincare product, and it did make my face look pink. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I did my eyebrows and I got a little clip for my hair. I do my eyebrows the same. I haven't changed them up yet. They'll use this, this Avon Compact, this dark brown powder. Sometimes I'll use the LA Girl Pro Concealer, but today I use this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Slash Concealer in the color 24 Golden. I'm gonna start with my eyes again. When I do bright, a bright eye look, I try to do my eyes first. When I do neutral, and if I use a palette that don't have a lot of fallout, I'll just go ahead and do my eyes last. But I'm going to try to use this palette today. It's very colorful, and I really enjoy colorful stuff. I don't really know if it has a lot of fallout. So we all know the first thing that I do for my eyes, I go into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I put a dab of this on my eyes because a little goes a long way with this. I use the Concealer Buffer Book. Concealer Buffer Brush by Zoeva and like I say with this concealer you have to move very fast because it dries very quickly. So we're going to be trying to attempt to use these two palettes. I want to use this Pinky Rose palette. This is the Bright Lights and this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm in good condition. Nothing wrong with it. These colors are amazing. I want to see how they perform. I'm going to be trying my first Huda Beauty palette. This is the Electric Obsessions palette. I had this for a while too and I haven't even used it yet. So out of the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette, these are the swatches for that. And I didn't get a really good swatch out of the yellow. My bad. Wait, that blue right here? Oh my goodness, it's really pretty. And I'm finna go ahead and swatch some of these shades out of this Pinky Rose palette. Ooh, I like that. Um, the swatches aren't bad. Think that with that palette, you're gonna have to blend up to the shade. You're gonna keep having to go in the shade to get it how you want it, but that's not a problem. This yellow on this palette is lighter than the Huda Beauty palette, so I'm gonna go into this lit color. It's called Lit, and I'm gonna be using my Morphe R37 brush. I'm using this yellow as a transition color, and it does have a lot of fallout. It's not as bad, but it has some fallout. Like a very, I don't know, I like a darker yellow. I'm not gonna lie. So that's probably why. So I wanna go into this peach color. It's called Dream Pickle. And I'm going into another blending brush. I'm gonna try this shade right here. This don't have names on it, so I'm gonna try this dark blue. Now I think I want to go into this Pinky Rose palette again. This confetti looking shade. It's called Cupcakes. That's a glitter. And with glitters, you got to work differently. But first, I'm going to go into this shade. And I'm going to put that on as a topper. I like the size of it, and when I first got it, I was like, this is really small. It's, I think it's worth its money, honestly, in my opinion. These shadows work perfectly, and the pan sizes aren't small. Right now, I'm gonna stop with the eyes, and I'm gonna go into foundation. 
and I got a new foundation I got the other day as well this is the Maybelline fit me dewy smooth in the color 360 and I love using this this is the mocha color and it's a good skin tone for me so I'm gonna be going into my NARS creamy no my NARS I'm gonna be going into my NARS soft matte concealer in the color Amande I'm gonna be going into my Avon loose powder in the color Vaughn. Honestly, like setting my powders with a color like this, a dark color. And the reason I'm using it like this, cause I don't know how this will be if I set it. Cause I don't want to look crazy. So I'm not gonna set with this, but it doesn't feel bad. It feels soft. Put those in my smile lines because I don't want them to be peeking. I'm gonna be using this Morphe. Going into that shade right there. I'm gonna be taking this color right here. I'll be going into my face powder. I'm gonna be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. And I use a patting motion with this just to blend in everything and make sure that it gets into my skin. I'm gonna spray my face with this new Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. This is my Ofra highlighter. I literally cracked it and I need to fix that. Oh, I found this to be very pigmented, so I'm gonna try to scoop it off the top here. Woo! I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and put some lashes on and I'll return. Now I'm going to this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Mascara. And now I'm going to this Urban Decay 24 Hour Eye Pencil. I'm gonna be going to this Ofra Lip Liner in the color Spicy. And I'm gonna be going into this new lipstick. It's by L. It's a matte lip color. This is what it looks like. Going back into this, I'm gonna be using that dark blue. I'm only gonna take it right here because I just want it to be dark right there. That is all for this tutorial. I've tried most new things. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. So before you guys leave, can you please like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell if you want to be notified every time I post a video. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video that I post. Bye guys.